It's season two, home of all stars, and we're back with a bag. It's bougie, baby. Yes. And we thought, you know, how do you start a season? How do you even top season one? You take everything off and let the cream right to the top. You've seen the number one show, the show that gets you just, I must tweet about it. <laughs> yeah, okay, X about it. <laughs> Kampala Cream is on every single Sunday on Pearl Magic and Pearl Magic Prime. And I thought, you know, the best way to start the season? Basta Fava Marina, right? So I have, well, she says, it must be a decade, a decade and a half in the industry. <laughs> Everything from TV to radio to DJing to just being an all-round star. Zahara Toto. <laughs> and I've got, if you just want to define an entrepreneur who just isn't, you know when you think entrepreneur, you think, okay, ashy feet. But I'm talking about the one who looks like, you make the money, yeah? Aww. She's a business, man. Mm. <laughs> Bougie mm. owner, Mammy Deb. How are you? I'm good. How's business? It's good. I'm selling bandage dresses. <laughs> <laughs> right. You will not give us a minute. You'll just, you'll go right into it. Yeah, yes. yeah. But welcome to the show. Thank you we for having me. We can't wait to get me. to know you. It's an honor. And then you have Eton. We, we want to party. party. <laughs> From radio to TV. And I would say, you know when you say someone is a hype? man but in this case a hype girl just seems mm. like eh, you're watering it down mm. so should we say she's the party the life yeah of the, the party. life of the party mm. hey, Tanya. so we also well i feel like that's our story <laughs> for the end mm. of today's show yeah that's it we'll mm. come back to it but well, welcome these are the ladies of kampala cream the show that has everyone saying in uganda Show. How come? <laughs> it's not reality. How? What? Why? How? And I hate when a show starts off and it's just like the drama. But then also, what's a show without, without the, drama. the drama, right? Mm -hmm. So I want the, you know, because Home of Our Stars is a chance for us to get to know the stars, okay. right? So I'm just going to start off. You've been in TV, radio, DJ. The DJ caught me off guard. I said, <laughs> Oh, it did catch yeah, someone off guard. Right? Yeah. It's what you sat there and thought, hmm, I must add on to the talents. It's a lazy thing I did. Lazy? Yeah, I was in my lazy era back in ah. the day. Yeah, so you know COVID. Mm, like, mm. COVID, literally everybody was home. We were baking. So, Why yeah. did you choose to <laughs> I was one of the essential workers in the country, yes, being a media personality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you become essential worker in times <laughs> right. like those. So you have to cover lots of uh, news, entertainment, mm. get you know, entertain people at home. Yeah. And uh, I was doing a show that was running from 10 to 3 p.m. on right. radio, mm -hmm. Monday to Friday. And we never used to have like co-hosts, DJs, artists right. to come in to do interviews and stuff like that. So I looked for something that would take away the boredom at work. Mm -hmm. And uh, the machines were at work. I taught myself how to DJ. Great. I went to school for this. Like, I, I'm certified for this. I live for this, I'm here for this, and I'm here to say, DJ Zato. Well, uh, the titles matter. I mean, <laughs> when the, as the show rolls, you'll see that we need you to remember. <laughs> yeah, when we say the, the titles. But you've been in TV and radio, yeah. and you, you do, I find you do a segment of TV that is the hardest, <laughs> entertainment television, yeah. because you've got to keep the energy up, you've got to be the happiest, the brightest, but that can't be every single day of your life. Mm. In real life. Apparently, I, I was groomed different. Okay. Yeah, in the beginning, I was groomed different for that type of show. When I was at uh, NTV back in the day, mm -hmm. we they did another sh another station, Spark TV, mm -hmm. where uh, we got a groomer or a mentor. Yeah. And uh, she told us this type of show is for the th thick skinned. Oh. She taught us how to present this type of show, mm -hmm. how to carry yourself, how not to mix feelings. Mm, when you're doing job. with the job, your home. But you're slashing people's <laughs> reputations for a living. <laughs> Apparently, How I can don't you not have feelings in there. <laughs> I do have feelings. Okay. Yeah, but um, 
it's entertainment news. Right, right. So being the fact that it's entertainment news definitely is going to attack somebody's ego. It's going mm -hmm. to, you know, put somebody down or something mm -hmm. like that. And uh, I made sure of uh, the fact that I do not go to the field to look for the news so oh. that there is a line drawn between me covering the news that I found on the table mm -hmm. and me knowing exactly what went down in the field. Ah. Yeah, there's a big, big line. So what I did is I don't go to the field to look for the news. It finds you. The news comes, I just find it on the table that Flavia is wearing black and silver. And then that's what you'll go and with. And that's what I'll go with. Hmm. Okay, so, girl? Girl. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, let's talk so about it. So, where do we start? Yeah. Right? You... I feel like, okay, at the time I've known you, you came back to Uganda to fully settle. Yeah. And a lot has changed. Had changed, has changed. Mm. I don't know where to start. I know. When you were coming in, you were like, Mommy Debbie is going to do what? Yeah. And conquer where? Yeah. What was in your mind at the time? So when I first moved to Uganda, I actually moved for love. Like I was getting married. Seriously, yeah, like, like I was engaged and then I'm getting yeah, married. Yeah, like I met, because I've been traveling to Uganda every year. For, From the UK. Yeah, mm -hmm. and every year I come to Uganda at least for two weeks. I was growing you every year I found love. So I was no, like, no, 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 <laughs> no. Yeah. So I would come for every, like two weeks. Right. In a year. Right. So maybe usually like the summertime mm -hmm. or, and then one summer I met someone and we even met in church. Yeah, we met in church. It's like the traditional hey, story. Mama. Yeah, so we met in church. We were dating for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, he didn't want to move to the UK. So we made a plan that I would move to Uganda. To Uganda yeah. So that was my first plan to move to Uganda. And then obviously when I got... To, we made a plan because I was like, if I'm to live in Uganda, mm -hmm. I don't know how to... How do I put it? Live on a budget. <laughs> so I was like, I'm like, yeah. Fire. Like, yeah, even it's my dad that told me. My dad was like, the life you're used to, because I've been working since I was 14. Right. When I was 14, I would babysit. Uh -huh. I, and then when I got my pin, well, my when I was legally able to work, right. I started like, like I've been working my whole life. Like I don't know how to not work. If so I want is something, that you I describing work. you have, you've always had access to money, so you yeah. don't know how to not working have. For it, yeah. <laughs> You've always worked, so you're yeah. like, you, I, I want to live around. So what, what does that mean? Does that mean that you were coming back and had to make a plan to make money here? No. So we sat down with my dad, and my dad was like, because you're used to earning in the UK, yeah. a certain amount of money, and it, the exchange rate kind of just yeah. Makes so my you dad busy. was like, the only way it makes sense to survive in Uganda, mm. do farming. Yeah. Because he's also a farmer. My mom's a farmer. Mm. They live in the UK, but when they're in Uganda, like. So my mom was like, my dad was like, do farming. So my initial plan to move to was Uganda farming. was farming. And even setting my wedding date, because I came to Uganda, did a kuchala. Wait, it was this serious? Yeah, I did a kuchala, I did a kwanjula, I did a wedding. Hence why my partner's like, your parents have already got dowry. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they want more. <laughs> yeah. So it was serious. I did a whole white Whoa. wedding. Yeah, I did a whole wedding, yeah. So even the date to the date I moved to Uganda, I made sure that's the day I'm I'm officially in profit with my farm. Aish. Yeah. So I was like, our girl never forgets set, profit. Yeah. I was like, the minute I'm in profit and I'll have um, salary, some money. Yeah, some yes. money. That's the, so my wedding day. I literally moved to Uganda eight days before my actual wedding because mm. I was like, my farm is in profit, so I can move. Mm -hmm. But obviously that didn't work out. And then when I was in that marriage, it was so lonely. Like. It was not the best marriage. Mm. He's not a bad person. Okay. He was just not the right man for me. It's not you. It's, it's me. me. Yeah. <laughs> I would say I was a pretty good wife. I won't lie. I did everything by the book. I tried to, but it just, you know, when men get married and they don't really want to be married, Ooh. no shade. Um, and I'm a lover. Like, I'm that kind of person. I love love. I do mm. things because I want to. I Hands, feet, yeah. everything. Yeah, so... Yeah. When because I had so much time on my hands, he was away five days a week, and on the weekend I was like, and then on the weekend he's like a church all day on Saturday, and then he's at football on Sunday. So I had too much Pass time on my home. hands. I know. <laughs> so because of that time, yeah. I had a loan. That's when I actually took in Mulunji, oh, the girl like yeah. I look after. So that's that because I was always alone. I took in Mulunji, and then. I was always like walking around in Cementi and I saw a vacant space and that's when I started Bougie. Because I was like, I'm always, oh yeah, he was managing my farm. 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I feel so like a mm. yeah. So he was managing my business. So I had too much time on my hands. And I'd be like, let me see the book. Anyways, let's have a lot of Oh. No. No. So I started bougie because I had too much time on my hands. Wow. And then it became my baby and it became my nine to five. Yeah. And yeah, that's why I'm so passionate about it. Because I started it when I really needed something. To, yeah. yeah. And then I started like little, little things here and there. But yeah. It has become yeah. the thing now. And then obviously when we did work out, I moved back to the UK. They didn't give you the books to the farm. Girl, that's another <laughs> <interview>. <laughs> Let's just say, actually, that's too much information. Um, give, 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 give. No, when I started managing my farm, my marriage ended. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my God, that's too much information. Okay. Anyways. Let's on pause the <laughs> Life of the party. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> of course, you have no drama in your life. You're an absolute saint. Oh, yeah. Nothing at all. Angel. Angel. <laughs> I just, angel, just shine. <laughs> Hi, girl. Hi, love. I Hi. mean, you, you did sort of things in reverse, right? Because there's the DJ, there's the hype, there's the TV, there's the radio. Which came first in the careers? TV. TV. TV came, TV came first during lockdown, yeah. So someone gossiped, right? And said, you know, that she initially didn't want to do the show. Because you weren't like, oh, a TV personality who was doing one show to yes, the next show. Yeah. And I said, how did we get a fit? Somebody who literally fit the lifestyle. I said, but you know, it was hard to convince that chick. I think it wasn't hard, but I, have ne I had never been on TV before. Yeah. I used to work in bars. Like, I used to work with an events company. We would organize nights. Mm -hmm. So in those nights, I would be... I don't know. They, 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 they came up with the name, The Life of the Party. I don't know. I just be me when I'm... When I'm out, it's time to dance, it's time to blast, it's mm -hmm. time to have a good time. So I used to be such a vibrant girl. I, I, I don't, I don't want to use the word I used to be. I'm such a vibrant girl. Right. So when I when I did events, every night we were hosting with my, my events friends, mm -hmm. who, I'll just be the one who is, you know, hyped and everything. So I remember during COVID, um, there was NTV Mix Show and NBS. Like a competition. Off. Yes, yeah. then the competition was nice. I used to watch it from home. I was interested just watching. Like, it was mm -hmm. interesting to see. And then someone on Twitter says, people started tweeting on Twitter, oh, there's this girl who's always in the bar blasting and vibing. Whichever TV gets her first is going to win done. this competition. Yeah. I said, okay. I had never seen myself on TV before because yeah. I've never been on TV. And both TVs reached out to me. Okay, girl. I said, me? With no CV, you want me? <laughs> I only bring vibes and inshallah on that table. By yeah. the way, I was not an MC. I right. was just, just dancing, really, yeah. just living life as a young, you know, girl. Then I ended up going with NTV. It was very interesting. NTV helped me, and um, the, the DJs that I was working with helped me get find my voice, become an MC. Right. Then we'll just entertain people during lockdown. Mm -hmm. People got to know me from there. Mm -hmm. Like now, serious people who watch TV, live alone <laughs> us and my fellow, yeah, fellow friends down there. <laughs> so you said there was competition, right? Mm. So both stations approached mm. you, but also remember that when the shows went on air, now it's spitting off. This group is better like than this, this group. group. Yeah. But it was you on one end, and a certain girl on the other show. She the soldier. Uh huh. Yes. It, was there anything that came out of? No. No. No, because we, we, we used to follow each other on social media. Right. And during that time, I didn't know her that much. Yeah. So we it even was, work at the summer cool. radio station now. It was just cool. We're just dancing, all of us. We're just right. entertaining everyone during COVID, really. When did you get about your money and you're like, eh, 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 eh. it's a business. It's a mm. brand. This I don't know. I've always tanya. loved working, but <laughs> working. Uh, Mola, <laughs> but like, brand-wise, yeah. I, uh, me, first of all, I didn't consider myself slave stuff. Those things. Stop. So when the popularity came, I was like, okay, you mean you can? You guys can pay to hear me talk? Okay, yeah. it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> yeah. So I became an a full, full, full MC now. After you know, after all the training right. and everything, I became an MC, and then people started to book me mm -hmm. now to see me outside TV. I was excited. <laughs> I had never seen it before. It's a shocker. It's a shocker. But you know, yeah. sometimes with fame or popularity, when people start to get to know you a lot, mm. it's a chance for people to start digging. Mm, yeah. And sometimes, you know, a few things creep up on the table that should mm. really not be on the table after the break. Welcome back. 
back. It's Home of Our Stars season two, and we decided to just start off with a bang, with the cream. Campbell cream is on Pearl Magic and Pearl Magic Prime, and we thought, why not get the girls here so you can get to know the, the girls, by the way, <laughs> even when we'll get back to that. So the show, you know, before the show airs, mm. There's being approached and told, so we would like for you to be on the show. Mm -hmm. And off the off air, you said, I like drama. Anywhere drama is, I will go. <laughs> <laughs> but did you see the drama coming? You know, there's thing, yeah, I'm cool with any drama, and then getting on the show and you're like, for Kampala Cream? Uh -huh. Yes, of course. It hasn't yet touched the drama you wanted. Not yet. <laughs> We're just starting. Mm. Yeah, there's more drama that I actually want to unfold inside the show. Please, uh, what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> but um, why did you want to be part of it? Because Zahara Toto was already a name out there. You know, you'd already been in front of our faces. You've done what you did. Why did you feel like, you know what? I don't mind adding my sauce <laughs> to mm. the show. I think um, when my director yeah. Yeah, uh, approached me and um, she told me about it. Yeah. I saw like it's another stepping stone. It's another room for growth, yeah. knowledge, learn, new friends. You know, new. It's a, a door. It's a greener pasture door. Yeah. So I decided to take you know a Why chance. Not? Why not? Why not? Yeah. Let's do this. And the way she explained it to me, it was so like powerful. <laughs> like you should not miss being mm. on this show. Like it's gonna like help she you. She sold it. Yeah, she sold it. <laughs> she told me, yo for the right. rest of the world outside Uganda to see and know who you are mm -hmm. and know the hard work you've put in all these right, years. This right. is your chance. Wow. And I was like, wow. Mm, to make friends? Did, did, did you make friends? Yeah, I did. Okay. I did. You have made friends? Yes, yeah. On the, On the show? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mommy Deb is my friend. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the rest is a no. All right. Yeah. Why did you want to be part of the show? Honestly, when the show, um, when they reached out to me, I was screaming. <laughs> I swear, I was like, my life's about to change, guys. This I have it. arrived. <laughs> At least you want to change my number there and then. Oh, come on now. Like, you can't reach me yeah, now. Well, I'm, I'm customer yeah, to my manager. Speak to my manager <laughs> to talk to my assistant. <laughs> yeah, I felt like. Wow. And at the end of the day, this show is a lot of fun. Right. Because however much is real life, who gets their hair done, makeup done, <laughs> the dresses I'm wearing, you should see me on the day of set. Imagine that. I swear. You'll be like, wait, are you the same person? The same? Are you on Tongo or Mami Day? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Nanto was entered yeah. the group. So to me, as yeah. soon as we were approached about the show, literally, I love the fact that my partner supports really? the show. Straight away, we rearranged our whole plan. We were meant to move to Uganda in November. I told him, we need to move, sell this no. house, sell those cars. No. We're moving tomorrow. Like, we literally, just, I'll call Judith. By the way, before when, that, when she told me, I don't know if I'm even allowed to say this. I don't think my name was even confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> but just know the like, house was no, sold. we're considering <laughs> you. And you're like, like, we're never considering mind. Before the paint, the, before the ink was dry yeah. on the contract, we, we, I told her, I think I called her, I was like, just so you know, we have arrived in Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> the ship is, like, literally, we packed up but the whole also, house. like, getting a partner who supports that. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. Uh, he's, yeah. he's very supportive. Saka like Muana. I don't want to over mm. big up his. You <laughs> know. <laughs> no, that's me. <laughs> no, but the thing is, we literally we saw it, we saw the potential right, in the show, right. and I'm glad. To me, it's even going to be bigger than we anticipated yeah, yeah. because. It's fun. It's life changing for us. It's exciting. I won't lie. The things I'm getting on the show, my partner thinks it's getting on the show. I don't know if I'll get those things if we are not on the show. Because <laughs> he doesn't also no, want to no one, no like, one, he doesn't want no to. No one is watching. Yeah, so blah. it's okay. Yeah, you can yeah, say all these fun. things. But I like that you said on a global stage, you know, because it's not just Ugandans now. I've made yeah. the name in Uganda. Yeah. Now let the world yeah. get to know me. <sighs> Life for the girl. Party. Why do I feel like after you talk seriously, you want to come to me? <laughs> when the serious questions are right, they, they come to me. Huh. Yeah. Um, what, when I said before the break, that you know, sometimes when you get to stardom, mm. all of a sudden people are interested in your life now. All of a sudden they think they know you. Yeah. They know your age, where you grew up from, what you eat for dinner, yeah. who your mom is, who your man is. 
Wow. You are prepared exhausted. for this question. Very. <laughs> <laughs> what What are misconceptions? You know, because now that people have watched a couple of episodes of mm. the show and they're coming for you, you guys are trending. Mm. What are you thinking? They really don't know me, man. For me, um, this show, when I, when I came on this show, I just wanted to really represent people like me. And those, those are many out there. Pretty hot very, chicks. Pretty hot chicks, yeah. <laughs> they're also there. Yeah. But, you know, there are girls like me who come from a small town. Right. People who come from nothing. Right. You know, girls who just want to be somebody, girls who are just working to provide for their family. Mm -hmm. And for me, when I came on this show, I was like, you know, they, there must be someone out there who's struggling when they're somewhere where I used to be. Right. And now when they see me in on a global stage, they have put me in a slow motion. I know. <laughs> I'm moving. They can be like, you know. I see myself. I see myself there because, yeah. you know, I, I now know her story. Because there's stories that go online. There's stories that people think they know because they wrote yeah. or they're online. But then when they hear it from your mouth, when they see you on a screen, mm -hmm. and when they get an... A, a glimpse, yeah. In your life, and they're like, oh my God, you know, this can be actually something nice, yeah. or she's like this. So me, I feel like the things they're going to see on the show, they make me shake all the time. My, my, <laughs> my, my episodes have not yet come. Mm. You're like, well, every day I feel like parts. telling Judy, oh, but we can't. So. I, I know. And I refer. Please don't my cancel. Refund. But you know, I, I, I actually, because I read the comments, you know, when mm. you, I'm like, people are really engrossed in this thing. Yes. And when the trailer, the promo came out first, mm. to God, everyone like just took everyone apart. <laughs> so-and-so, mm. why so-and-so, this person <laughs> doesn't fit. You guys read that, right? Yes, like, they were shocked you were the people who would bring the cream, mm. right? So the person, right, who is not here, who is not able to join us, mm. I, I, because I said there's beef brewing, but then it's not brewing, it's already, it's here. <laughs> It's cooked steak, actually, in this, in this case. I read the comments and people said that you and Gloria, who's the other castmate at the time, that perhaps there was a misunderstanding, and that's how they placed it. The comments were saying, oh, maybe so-and-so heard the wrong thing, and, and then so-and-so started. Mm -hmm. And the comments of, it's fake, it's scripted, came up. How scripted is the beef? Okay, I honestly, to God, I wish it was scripted. Okay. Because if it was scripted, you can say this is... It ends I, here. Yeah. That's yeah, she came to Bougie. She checked me in front of my staff. Me and my PS, <laughs> we are friends. My PS are my friends. That's, maybe you, that's maybe in your, your world, baby, Maybe Gloria. your staff are She's not no your friends. She's no longer a baby. Are you, are you a baby? I'm not a baby. I'm She's my no PS. longer a baby. So my I'm whole trying team to is my friend. Anyways, to cut this Do you whole... mind us calling you baby Gloria or I'm Gloria? Not I don't mind baby. it. I'm not calling my... you baby. I'm but calling you mommy. Right. It was so wrong. It was... I think that's where I went wrong. And I promise right. you, with you as my witness, I am never going to... Mm not listen, because <laughs> that's the biggest mistake I did, entertain her off camera. Because having her in my home, and because I literally reached out, I was like, I don't think want to get there. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to be nice, and I'm like, you know, because I thought I could work against the producers. I was like, we could try to- Just fix it. Yeah, I was like, One let's- conversation. No, because I was like, we could try go ahead and, and uh, like, we could basically just try and make sure we never look bad and we could do uh, this. Basically, I tried to plan stuff. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> that bit, when I said bit me in the thing. Yeah. Because the next thing I see, I'm watching with you guys on Sunday, all I see is, Nale Gula fridge, Joba Day was fit to enough fridge. She's like, Do you want farm for mate, mate? So she opens the fridge for my PS. You want a drink? Can you? The fridge stayed open for like 13 minutes. Now, I have a gang of men in the fridge. The car is good for long. No, you go on the windows that you train up your own, you have your own Because I was like, yes, yeah. speeding, like, because I was like, at this point, I've literally, this, I'm learning every day, every yes. Sunday, I'm learning. One day we're good, one day we're not. Because literally, you're, you're as good as your last conversation, but it uh, could change depending on Twitter. Yes, yes. Depending on social media. The reactions. 
is so not scripted that you wish it was cuz you could tell them kunu no tamvuma kunu no bawa ngatamvuma girl of course you have money we cannot compete with someone whose husband has worked for the last 70 years you yeah. know <laughs> remove the part where like, she like remove like you literally and the scenes where I've literally been on my knees Judith Please don't show the people. That's how I reacted. But then you're like, that's the reality. Truth. If yeah. it's how you acted, it's yeah. how you acted. And then you're like, you know what? I just have to do better next, next time. time. But you don't look like Jack you will. Will. So, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Why are you wrapping things up? <laughs> With things in the show. So, you know, I am kind of tempted mm. to honestly ask mm. and go like, because you're on opposite ends of the room, mm. and ask, what's the base of the beef right mm. but i also don't want you know i feel like i came late to the whatsapp conversation yeah so i don't you know i don't want to say oh, oh last no. week they, they they discussed why did you watch uh, do you watch the yes, sand but i i also have gossip uh, yeah so i don't want to be the one to bring things to the table but i genuinely want to ask do you talk off yeah. camera so guys how was the event it was beautiful Zahara to me is air. She's non-existent to me. Did you know each other before the show? Mm-mm. Of each other? Mm-hmm. Know each other? No, of each other. Of each other, yes. She said yes. She knew of you. She's looking at me like she knew you and you knew her. Like friend. You see, she's not saying much, but her eyes are saying a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't you had do. never met until the show? No, not in a personal space. <laughs> What, Flavia? <laughs> Had you met her before the show? Mm, on some events, yes. So you had never had a personal or one-on-one conversation with no. the two of you no. until the show? Yeah. So I find it hard to believe people who had never had a one-on-one personal conversation could get to the point where they cannot stand each other. I think um, if if I could, I'm shocked you have started, <laughs> but <yeah. laughs> tell I me. I think um, I think it's about energies, right? You know, me when I get into a room, I bring good energy, I bring good vibes, I bring laughter. Like I'm, so if I'm in a space and you know, energies don't lie. Oh, mubi adjaku yingida, oh mubi adjaku tegeranti mubi, oh simbujabula. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. so when someone with bad energy enters a room, you can feel it, you can sense it. And I'm an energy person. Mm-hmm. And you can tell how you feel. And it's not their fault, it's not your fault. So you don't have to... If do you, we create our own energy? Yes, you do create okay. your own energy. How okay. you treat yourself, right. how you carry yourself, how you treat people around you, mm-hmm. that also matters. So if you can avoid anything that... What's that thing they put in the air? Yeah, Sage. Feng Shui, yeah. Sage, yeah. yeah. So if you can avoid, if you can surge your space, and in our entertainment industry is avoiding someone, it's ah. not written anywhere that people are supposed to be friends, really. No. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can meet someone, and you just don't connect, you just don't click. It does not mean you beef them. Oh. You understand? So you're not beefing each other? At me, on okay. my side, I you're don't You're not beef beefing her, her yeah. but you're just saying you prefer not to... to She's the energy you don't want yeah, to have. No. That's quite direct. Neither do I. Say energy? Yeah. You read the energy? Yeah. Do you read the energy? Have you been to Switzerland? <laughs> it's a very cool place. <laughs> yeah? yeah? It's there. It's just yeah. neutral. No, not neutral. Mm-hmm. I literally, my business is my man, my child, my money. Right. And those that love me. Yeah. And if we ha- I meet Itania, we have a good time. Mm-hmm. Lovely. If I meet Zahra, we have a good time. Mm-hmm. Lovely. In my, an ideal world, I would love for them to see the good I see in... Y- in each know, of them cause, separately. Yeah. Because you tried. You tried to say, could we? Wrap no. it up. <laughs> That's caused the no, wrap I, it no, up. I yeah. think, I'm um, sorry to cut you off. No, I think okay. um, in Uganda, how it's set up, let mm. me give you an example of when you come in this industry. They have this thing, the generals, I'll call them the generals, not the generals. I'll call them the people that feel they run this industry. When a young girl is coming, and I've seen it with myself, because now also, unfortunately, they are starting to call me the general. When someone is coming, I don't know if it's. I, I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know if it's. it's I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's how the industry is set up, and it's not only about Zahara when I'm speaking about this. 
you will see that people's energy towards you is just terrible. If you're an upcoming MC, if you're, um, if you're a TV person, if right. you're a designer, if someone is in the same space as you, I don't know about this thing that it's competition mm -hmm. or you don't have to be friends or this one is copying you or this... And it's, it's, it's here, it's around. Mm -hmm. And if you try to befriend a person who is in the same space with you, mm -hmm. they say, oh, they're not real friends. Faking it, and I hate it so much. But people that buy into what the media tells them, so on, so and so, who do you think is better? So if you're at night in your bed and you're reading and they're saying Itania is better, if you know who you are, you don't need random people to tell you that yeah. you're better. But if we, the random people, are pitting you against each other, mm, they do. We that. are the bad energy. I feel. Yeah, that's true. If yeah, you but give if I check on it, yeah. if, you see, if you tell me Mummy Debbie is better than me, mm. and I start looking at Mummy Debbie in a, a certain way, yeah, right? It's the person I'm, I'm saying now, it. That's I'm now becoming yes. the bad energy. I'm just looking at Mummy Debbie like, hmm. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm consuming what your people are telling me. Mm -hmm. So that means you don't know who you are. People mm -hmm. are telling you who you are. I thought when I saw the two of you on a trailer. I thought, oh, I mean, it would the benefit so much from being in the same space with each other because I don't see it as competition. Yeah. I was bummed to hear that, oh, no, they're not friends because I'm like, eh? And the energy story, I was like, well, I feel like they've well, just not got to know each, each other. other. Yeah. And they're not going to give each other a chance. Time is not. It's the moment. No, I, I want people to understand that it's completely fine. It's yeah. completely, I know you're not friends with everyone, for no, sure. No, no. And it doesn't mean and you get selective. them, right? I'm very selective. Exactly. But if I, I someone mean, comes with bad energy just because you want to give a chance, you let someone's energy contaminate but you see, your that's, space. That's presumptuous. When you say that somebody comes with bad energy it means you've looked at the person you've actually read the energy yes. and it's bad yes, right that's what i've done I, you that. know there's a lot of fire that's brewing here and it's touching my skin and i wish it could just come out and be said go say it not here not here no my conversations are not for peanut sized people oh all right <laughs> We're still a very traditional country. Mm. You have sisters, aunties, uncles who's like, mm, Tanya, did I see you saying this or doing this? What kind of reviews have you gotten now that you know it's come out? Because you know when you're filming, mm. and then when it comes out, now it's like, I can't hide anymore. <laughs> what have been some of the reviews from people who know you, Tanya? When my friends watch how I am when I'm pissed, when I'm sad, mm -hmm. when I'm happy, that's how I am in real life. Right. So it's just only one compliment for me. I've not seen any negative thing about oh, me, thank oh my God. God. Oh. You can say I'm the fez. <laughs> Yes. Yes. yes, with your chest, yes. with my <laughs> chest of everyone's fez. <laughs> yes. But what's the reaction? First of all, you and your partner are on the show. You're together all the time, even here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's even when we're filming. Like me and Michael, I think I thank God because this is what I've always wanted. I wanted a partner where mm. we're we're general partners. Like. Right. What he does, I'm into. What I do, I'm into. into yeah. So even when he goes to golf, I'm literally like that golf wife just sipping my wine. <laughs> does it help though that he's not Ugandan and he's not going to judge you best off a comparison of something? The thing is, he's the least judgmental person I've ever okay. met. Like to him, I mean to me, when I see him, I don't see like a white man. I okay. see <laughs> like I see my person, like right, he's my guy. Right, right, right. So when someone pisses me off mm -hmm. on like on set. <laughs> How do I even say this? When someone becomes my enemy, uh -huh. I can have a conversation with you to solo kule gula fridge and I forgive you. <laughs> yes. With my call is forever <laughs> <laughs> so but i love it i yeah. love it like we're together and when we watch the show like even when i do those crazy mm -hmm. okay i don't do crazy scenes but it's like even when i come out of character yeah he's there he on the way home he'll be like i can't believe you said that yeah you know or he'll be like i can't believe you didn't stick up for yourself mm. you know he's like i understand you want to because the thing is when we first you learn i think every day on set you learn yeah. like episode one when it comes out you're like ah i didn't let me yes. yeah i didn't embarrass myself episode two you're like oh what did i say that episode three you're like oh like eventually people don't realize you will forget yeah because it's real things happening real it's real time, feelings yeah. you're really offended mm. right and one thing me and michael talked about when we're coming on kampala cream we said let's just be ourselves right when i'm angry i'm really angry when i'm happy to see you i'm really happy to see you wow. so you have 
a family, you are a mom, you know, and your children are not, they're the type that could, will know, will watch, will understand what mom is doing. And you've been on the show and their comments, whatever, but you know the kind of Zara you're trying to portray and the, or maybe you're also going to be saying, I'm real. I'm myself, you know? <laughs> but so far, the comments, mm. maybe your kids haven't seen the show. Who has seen no, the show actually, around? Actually, my kids are on the show. They are in yeah, the show. Yeah, they're in the show. But yeah. you see, there's, there's being in an episode and everything, they're seeing the whole context of the show. Mm -mm. What kind of comments have you gotten from the, those close to you? Those close to me are very positive about oh, it. Great. The bitter Ugandans are bitter as usual. <laughs> it's what makes them Ugandans. And I cannot take that away from yeah. them. You understand? Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, for the type of job I do on TV, that is uh, the entertainment news, yeah. it will always be, give me this controversial character, mm -hmm. but it's not exactly what I am in real life, ah. unless you step on my foot unless you call for it. That is when you will see the devil in me, it will come out on you. So it's like an alter ego waiting, just press play. Press, like this, mm -hmm. and I go harder. Okay. And I never stop. <laughs> With me, if it's up, it's, it's up. It's stuck, it's stuck. Period. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> yeah. But on this uh, Kampala cream, mm -hmm. um, I'm trying as much as I can mm -hmm. to show Ugandans the different side of me they've never seen before, because right, right. they actually do not know me apart from what I show them on social media right. or what I do on my entertainment show. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Were so you my... worried about them seeing that side? You know, the mom and everything. And Ugandans? You... Yeah. I care less. They can see everything. Okay. Girl, they've been they've been trolling my family since one. You might as well show them. Yeah, you might as well show them. <laughs> then my kids are actually doing good. You yeah. might think my kids are, you know, those were kids who don't even know how to speak English. Mm. Those were kids who were raised as somewhere, somewhat. Mm -hmm. But no. I want to, people to see my real family, my real children, right. my life, like... This is Zara. Yeah. Welcome to my world. I love taking my children out every now and then. It's a bond for me as a mother. Yeah, so there's a, an, I don't even know how to call it, but there's something in the room, an empty chair, which means that um, we've lost somebody on the show. You know, somebody who's decided and chosen not to be on the show in a certain way. Have you felt like after the show came out, even when you were proud to be part of the show, there are moments where you thought, maybe it's a good time to leave. <laughs> maybe I should quit and let it go here. Etanya, any moments where yeah. you, eh? Yeah. Really? But I love Judy so much. <laughs> the producer, the producer. No, but, um, personally, I, like I told you before, yeah. I came on the show to just represent, I want everyone like to you. just look at me and be like, if this girl came from this far, and now she's on a global stage, mm. even me, I can, I, right. I can make it. Even me, I can be somebody. Because you know, a lot of people told me, I hear it all the day, you, you was like this, like this. This is your past. We know your past. This is what he used to do. You know, people always like to bring you down with mm -hmm. your past, with who you were, with what you did. And you're going to do that all the time. Right. If you used to sell Casoli on the road, mm -hmm. they'll start with you. Even when you make it, even when you're a star, there's that thing in them. They don't want From to believe Kasoli it. Trader. Yes, to they don't Kampala want to be like, cream. why? They're yes. always like, why you? Why yeah. you? And I just want to represent um, girls, young girls especially, mm -hmm. who have done mistakes before, yeah. people who have done terrible things they're not proud of to say or to tell, you know? I just want them to own their truth, to be their own person, mm -hmm. to stand up one day and be like, you know, Tanya inspired me to do this. Mm -hmm. So if I feel like it's, not, it's going against who I am and what I stand for and what I want to represent and who I want to be, mm -hmm. and I've felt a couple of times like that before on the show, yeah. Not very many, but okay. sometime. Mm. But I'd be like, let me just fight for those girls in Massacre. Because of what you want and what you want to do and what you want to achieve, you, you have pushing. to go through even the most disgusting things that you would oh, have wow. never stood by in mm -hmm. real life, you know? Just like, let me just hold it together for my family, mm -hmm. for my friends. To also put laughter in the show. People are serious. People have serious cars, serious families. <laughs> I'm just here to put vibes and inshallah and just, yeah. you know. With their serious cars. With their no. serious <laughs> individuals. Yeah. But you haven't wanted to quit, have you? Um, I've, I've had my naughty moments that you will see. <laughs> and But at the end of the day, it's been, it's, it is, I manifest for this show to carry on till end yeah. of time. It is a great opportunity okay. because it's the, like, I think when we had that episode of someone making fun of bandage dresses. Mm -hmm. Are we wearing in bougie? Bandage from Let me just, I have a question. What are we wearing in bougie? 
bandage. Bandage? Listen, when was the last time you went to Paris? Because clearly, I don't think it's ever. I had an episode, but then God is good because I think the producers saw mm -hmm. the vision, and because I'm new to television, I didn't see the vision, but I kid you not, the next day, we've never sold the, the most bandage <laughs> dresses we've ever sold, and I kid you not, all the money I made from the show, mm -hmm. I restocked and got bandage dresses. Hey. Well done. <laughs> but I wanted to know, because they were like a non-negotiable, where you're like, okay, this is the line I want to cross. Because that's the thing about having your real life. It's not mm. scripted, it's your real life. So it could play out anywhere, of course, as you've noticed. Of course, yeah. as you go along the show, things happen that you wouldn't want to have happened or you aren't proud of. But is there a moment where you go like, even if it's real life, there yeah. are parts of my life that I don't want playing out in front of people, in front of the world, as you're calling it. Mm. Are there parts? Yeah, mm. there are many. Oh, oh. <laughs> there are many. Yeah. yeah, I would have thought the children would have been part of the things that you wouldn't want to have shown in a certain yes, way. Yes, but then I realized my children are all over social media. Being, anyway, you do you understand? Mm. So why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, it's also an opportunity for them. As I was coming in today for this interview, I met one of my friends, and he told me, "I saw your girl on TV. Oh my goodness! You should give me your girl, and I put her on TV. She needs a TV show." Mm. So I realized it's. it's a, it can open doors for them, for them. as young children. They are mm -hmm. very bright kids. They are, mm -hmm. they are very open-minded. Mm -hmm. No is no yes is yes. They are, they are like, Just like. <laughs> <laughs> they are very sharp kids. But you people, you want me to treat you like kings, prince and princesses without shouting at you and putting you in the right order? No. Hey. It's not about shouting. Hey. It's about discipline. Thank you. Now you're talking. It might open doors for them as mm -hmm. children, and it, yeah, you never know. Something good might come out of it. But what's the point where we know Zahara for sure will not be on this show if that part of her life is? Oh, no, really. So if you you found love, right? Uh, no. You found love, you know? No, no, I'm not married. There's a tree. We don't <laughs> claim them. We don't claim them yeah. unless they pay down. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, ah, I'm not married. Not married. Okay. But would you would you bring that part of your life? Why on the not? Show? If he allows, yes. Okay. Yeah, because it's reality. I'm not gonna hide my man if he's indeed my man. Mm. Uh, if he's indeed your man. If he's indeed my line. man. Uh, yeah. Okay. But now I'm not married. Why would I be? Parading somebody's boyfriend hey, somewhere. Hey, this is me. People are no, not no, married no, and they have no, partners no, no. on the these show. These men of you, these days, Ugandans. Mm. <laughs> ah, you parade the guy. Tomorrow, thousands of women are flocking in his inbox. And they say thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I no longer do that. I did it once. Mm, and never again. And never again. Okay. Me, I'm that... only showing him because I'm sure. Okay. I'm the yeah. one and only. I'm always there. <laughs> Unless when he goes to the toilet. <laughs> That's the time he's free. <laughs> That's the only free time he gets in the toilet. And literally, I'm also. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm everywhere. Yeah. I don't give you time. You literally. Wow, yeah. ma'am. I'm that sure. Yeah. Maybe this is a blueprint. I used to sleep in To not fear yeah. men. Yeah. Ah, me, I love men. Men are good people. Okay. Men are angels. <laughs> <laughs> What's your non-negotiable? What's the point where you will reach and say, me as a Tanya, this part of my life, I'm not open to showing um, it? On the show, mm. surprisingly, I've shared so much on the show mm. more than I've ever shared on my social media platforms. Wow. Yeah. I've shared so much on the show. <laughs> Hey, that's man. <laughs> you want to click rewind? Yeah. Is that what they can remove? <laughs> and and to we, give a refund. And oh. give, and, <laughs> I've shared so, man, surprisingly, I've shared so much because yeah. with with you know with us people who are in the entertainment world, mm -hmm. for some reason, when people see you on Instagram and Snapchat, they assume they know you. Actually, they know they know you. Yeah. So for me, this platform has been very good for me because. People are going to be shocked. Mm. They are going to in be in a like, good way. Oh. Yeah, in a good. I'm, I'm a nice girl, like you said. I'm an angel. Uh, uh, perfect. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Nothing. Little Miss Perfect. What's the ideal? Like, let's say five seasons down the line. I know, right? <laughs> right. Right. Of Kampala Cream, and yeah. the brands have become bigger. The stars have become real. I mean, you know, mm. the entire galaxy. What is Zahara's life then? You know, because you, you must have sat down and said, Naomi, because you said they sold it to you. This is an opportunity. Say this door real, eh? 
<laughs> opens. Mm. <laughs> what are we seeing for Zara? Mm. I did not tell you something. So Zara is an aviator. I'm studying to be a pilot mm. and I'm in school for aviation, Uganda Aviation Academy. Oh, she didn't stutter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? With her chest. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, wherever this show takes me, probably I'll go with my very much knowledge that I've got in school. Mm -hmm. Use this show yeah. to push me further. So someday I'm going to be at the back of the plane and you're at the cockpit. Yes, I'll be at the cockpit Yo. very soon, mm -hmm. by the end of this year. Hey! <laughs> that, <laughs> that soon? Yeah, that soon. Wow! Captain. Captain Zato. Uh, there you go. They, <laughs> which you're taking your stage name to. <laughs> yes. Because yeah. Captain she... Zara Toto is a bit long. Okay. Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Today, mm -hmm. your captain is Zato. Such a go. short name. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? All the dreams can come true. Yeah. Five seasons down the line. Honestly, mm -hmm. when I look at my vision board, it's all coming together. So five seasons down the line. Hopefully, Valongo. Yeah. <laughs> Twins. What's going to happen for Tanya? I think Tanya, as a person, I'll grow, mm -hmm. but I want to use my platform to put more awareness of what I've been through as a person, yeah. of what many other girls are going through as a person, and how you can overcome it. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping to use this show to help me reach those people. Right. And I want to start something from mm. this show to help, you know. I, li I, I, I feel I like to help. It's in, it's in mm. me to help. Even when I don't have, like, I like to just help. Yeah. But you know, I mean, you also can't remove the fact that, you, for example, the, the people on TV and the digital, your brands, now the opportunities are going to be knocking because of the show. Sometimes that can be scary because mm. with such shows like this and the platform that uh, Paul Magic is able to reach, visual. it comes also at you too fast. Yeah. You know, you're not sure how to handle things or mm. sometimes, you know, when you have so much to hold, you might, you know, some stuff spills out. Mm. So are you ready? This is home of our stars. Yeah. So we're asking, Ro, are you ready for the stardom? Because you've been stars, but yeah. like, are you ready for the thing that comes at you? I personally just want to use this platform to do something. Okay. I don't think I want to use this platform to flex, to, the star things, the lights, those Why? things scare me all the time. Why do they scare you? This whole life scares me. I find it very hard. This this thing. This whole life. Be not be not this enough. show. <laughs> he said this and whole the blankets life. And wine. So it says the blankets and wine. Because star. I I, I, love, I know and, and it's sad because that's what I love and that's what I love. To, I right. wish I could just DJ from my bed and oh, people blast. Yeah. But you know you have to go out there. But after this whole thing, I gotta take off my outfit mm -hmm. and put on Harry Potter. And yeah. just, this is just too much for me and I don't know. I always tell my manager, I don't know if I want all that, you know? Okay. Yeah. I, we won't ask, ma'am. You know what? I mean, I kind of got surprised by your character. You know where she just, she's poised. I think it's the years of entertainment. Like you said, you were a mentor to know how to be in certain situations. Mm -hmm. She's like, I will just be graceful and take it all in. No, the thing is, it's, I take it, it's a career. It's mm -hmm. my job. Yeah. Yeah. And is, I, does anybody I, want to know about that conversation? Kubuli, the the truth is, uh -huh. if I say anything, Press play. <laughs> I feel like if I say anything, because people will say I climb up on their fame. Yes. So it will be seen as clout. I want Tongo to be in Tongo, mm. you know? Because talking about people, they'll think, eh, she's trying to become something based off my name. Yeah. No, Kampala Queen is here to stay. Okay. And yeah. Are you I genuinely? Okay, ah, so you're not concerned. Let the faith speak. Yeah. Are, let you, faith are you concerned speak? about that conversation? Ah, you know I know how to sing. Okay. <laughs> are you concerned about that conversation on why there's one missing person? I already know. Yeah. Okay. I think if someone's not here, mm -hmm. let's just enjoy those that showed up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kampala cream, as you can tell, there's press play. Eh? There's eh? Faith and innocent, and I've never done anything wrong until, until you watch the show. Until you watch it. Exactly. <laughs> and then probably the shocker of all seasons. <laughs> Captain Zato. In yes. a year, you'll be there. So we look forward to that. Imagine if I'm on a plane and I hear, I mean, that would that be great. Thank you. Well done and charter forward. Uh, it's every single Sunday. Uh, I feel like. <laughs> 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 
Pack shots. Every single Sunday, uh -huh. the cream de la cream, uh -oh. company cream, the toppest, <laughs> the strongest women, the powerful. If you're not here, where are you? I'm joking, don't take me serious. What? One ma, I'm yeah. at Crane Plaza, she's a <laughs> man. I'm open, Bush is open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. You're not going to say open, Kalango, and I keep quiet like Sanja Kutunda Bandit. If, if it helps, <laughs> this is Bougie. Yeah! So thank you, Home of Our Stars Season 2 is dressed by Bougie. And uh, from Captain Zato, mm -hmm. Bougie, yes. and Life of the Party. Ciao! <laughs>